This is Dr. Kavanaugh, Biosociates of South Texas. I'm going to show you a laser cataract surgery. This is a patient who's had the Lens X laser. You can see that his capsule rexus has been completed and the nucleus has been fragmented. I prefer doing manual incisions using my standard 15 degree super sharp blade uh, superiorly and we will do temporally a 2.4 millimeter single plane incision using a double beveled keratome of 2.4 millimeters. Once this has been completed, we will inject in sugarcane to provide anesthesia and also maintain pupil dilation. We're very careful when we put in our dispersive viscoelastic to go over the previously made capsule rexus with the laser and we will check from all four quadrants that the capsule rexus is complete as we remove the anterior capsule. This is important as sometimes there are small tags with the laser capsulotomy. We perform hydrodissection in the normal manner and make sure that we can turn the nucleus. We will use the pre-placed laser fragmentation incisions and complete them with a Akahoshi pre-chopper to make sure the previously made fragments are completely separated we use here a Stellaris Elite phacal emulsification unit to remove the cataract fragments using high vacuum. We can see that the first piece of the nucleus is rather resistant to being removed with phacal emulsification a handpiece and therefore we will revert to sculpting the nucleus. This is using the ultrasound handpiece to groove a trough uh, above the pre-made fractures by the laser to easily split the pieces into smaller uh, components. Uh, once the quadrant starts to be removed by the phacal emulsification handpiece, it is emulsified uh, by the uh, phacal emulsification machine and the pieces are aspirated into the phaco handpiece. The steel portion of the handpiece you can see is uh, actually a phacal emulsification needle that vibrates at 20 to 40,000 times a second depending on the machine being used and it breaks the cataract up into many small pieces that are aspirated through that same needle. Irrigation fluid it enters the anterior chamber through the yellow or transparent sleeve of the handpiece to keep it formed. Once the cataract has been removed, there are some cortical remnants, which is the surrounding part of the cataract. We will remove this with the capsular guard handpiece that is, uh, again, a silicone sleeve, which is very capsule friendly. It is a little more difficult to remove the cortical material after laser cataract surgery, as the laser will cut the capsule and the cortex uh, in a perfectly around 5.2 millimeter uh, capsule opening but with persistence the cortical material is removed and once the sub incisional cortex has been removed that's the area underneath our incision we will do our usual capsule polishing with the 27 gauge cannula on a balanced salt uh, solution uh, 3cc syringe. Once this has been completed, we will inject a cohesive viscoelastic, in this case Ambis. You can see a beautifully round 5.2 millimeter capsule erexus, which is really um, not easy to achieve manually. I've done over 25,000 cataracts and still find that the laser is able to center a capsule erexus uh, better uh, than we can do this manually. We're going to hydrate the main and side port incisions and this is an iHands intraocular lens by Johnson & Johnson and we'll make sure it is in the uh, confines of the laser capsulotomy, capsule rexus, and we remove the cohesive viscoelastic and center the intraocular lens. There was some patient movement and as we recover our position we ascertain the lens position and we will again hydrate the clear cornea 
incision using balanced salt solution uh, to make the wound leak free. We'll inject fluid through the side port incision, center of the intraocular lens, and this completes the case. Thank you for your attention. This is Dr. Kavanaugh of Associates of South Texas.